How's it going YouTube? Back with another sugar free review. Got a special knife today. This is a 10 year anniversary knife for Civivi. It's Elementum. Comes in a different box than they normally use. Just a little bit more fancy. Let's see, I haven't even opened this yet. It's like stickers. One different one than normal. Oh, vision sticker. Yeah, same old stuff. Uh, I believe that's it. Yep. And here's the knife. Something I really wasn't expecting to drop, really. They, I don't think they've ever put fat carbon on a Civivi, at least from factory. They do put this on a lot of their Wii knives and charge $3,400, which I don't buy. But this was a really good deal in my opinion, $88 for S35VN Jungleware Fat Carbon, which I did not have in my collection. So it was an easy buy. It took me a little while to get it because I waited, but it's here. Got a 2.96 inch S35VN blade drop point hollow grind satin finish just like the original and yeah there's a couple things different with this knife but basically it's the same old elementum just a little more pizzazz <laughs> got a three millimeter blade stock or 0.12 overall length of 6.99 inches so mid to small size knife do some size comparisons. Of course, it's the same size as the Elementum Warncliffe. Don't have my regular drop point one anymore. Let's see, I got Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. Used to be a really popular knife, just a little bit smaller. Two fat carbon knives, Kaiser Drop Bear. Scales I made. Uh, about the same length and QSP Penguin. Yeah, both pretty close to the same length. Four point zero three inch handle, 0.43 inches wide, close width in the pocket from here to here is 1.18 inches. You got T8 as Civivi does on all their knives, except for the pocket clip, which is T6s. A weight of 2.8 ounces, do have weight relief. Now I wouldn't really call fat carbon a lightweight material, but it's not a heavy material either. It's not really gonna help you on weight. But and you also have a special pocket clip. It's green, of course, and it's deep carry, non-reversible. It's got a rough texture to it, titanium. Yeah, pretty cool. Like that they did that. And the handle, of course, is Jungle Wear Fat Carbon. It's nice, smooth. Yeah, I've done a few custom Civivis, which I think look better, but this one's still really nice. And it's the liner lock, of course. Okay, access. It's not the best on this knife, but it's okay. Flipper only. Unlike the Warncliffe version, it's got studs too. Makes it a little bit more boring when it's flipper only, but you don't really need more than that. No backspacer, but you do have a lanyard hole. And comes with a good sharpening tool. So you should be able to use this for a while. Didn't test out the edge, I forgot to do that. Let's do that now.
solid edge, nothing great, but it's it's good enough. Dislocks, it's gonna be the same with all the other elementums. Liner lock access. I prefer the liners not be shadow box. Let it rather than be flush with the scales. Then you'd have to put better access. So yeah, it's just a a classic knife that they redone, made it look fancy. I'm glad I picked one up. Um, I will link this knife down below if you want to pick one up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a like and a comment and see you on the next one.